Hey y'all, my name is Xander and this is my vlog. So I know I haven't talked about it much on this channel, but I am a Whoviet. That means I love Doctor Who. I jumped on board the Who train a little bit late. I came on with the reboot, which I think is a lot of my age bracket anyway. My doctor is Christopher Eccleston, number nine. And for some reason, I found out that he's not the most popular doctor. I just love Christopher Eccleston's portrayal of the doctor so much. That balance between like dark and serious and off the wall goofy craziness totally appeals to me. My favorite companion is obviously Donna Noble. Duh. All right, now that we got the important information about my Whovianism out of the way, let's talk about the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. Spoilers. If you didn't know, Doctor Who just recently celebrated its 50th anniversary and everything was just pointing towards this one episode that was happening called The Day of the Doctor. It was the 50th anniversary, it had so much hype around it, and rightfully so, because I was super pleased with the result. Here are some things that I liked. First, I love that they used the classic Who opening, the, the opening from the very first episode. I love that John Hurt was there as the War Doctor, and I love that there was a prequel little episode where Paul McGann is turned into the War Doctor. I thought that was fantastic, and gave me some closure from that movie from 1996 into uh, what was about to happen into 2005. <sighs> My nerd heart is at rest. Thank you. I was a little bit worried that I was going to be taken out of it thinking like Ollivander is running around with a screwdriver, but it wasn't like that at all. I thought John Hurt was a perfect addition to Matt Smith and David Tennant who would have just gone bonkers with all of their funny dialogue, and he was a great foil to stay there and keep them grounded, and also is a commentary on basically everything that Moffat introduced into the Doctor Who universe. One of the things that Doctor Who always does, and I think this was no exception, was showcasing the human strength as opposed to all this alien technology that's going on. I really love the portrayal of Elizabeth I, who just kind of took it all in stride, like, yes, there are aliens on this planet, and yes, they look like me, but I'm a queen, and you better back up off of this. It was so cool to see the different TARDISes, TARDI, TARDIES, TARTAR, the three different TARDISes lined up side by side, and you could really tell that the outside of the TARDIS regenerates along with the inside of the TARDIS along with the Doctor. The great parallel to the actual Doctors and what they have inside. Oh. Get it? Because it's what they have on the inside that affects what's on the outside. And ah, there's so many layers to the show! I loved it when all 12, no, the all 13 doctors joined the fight. Serious goosebumps. All the nerd dinglies. Showcasing Tom Baker was an excellent choice. I love that they brought one of the classic Who doctors into it. Um, it raised a lot of questions, like, who is the curator? Is this the doctor after his 13th regeneration? Does he revisit this face? Or is this an alternate timeline where the fourth Doctor just kept on going and kept on aging? I don't know, but I love it! And that ending scene, right? And here are some things that I thought missed the mark. Obviously with an anniversary like this showcasing the reboot, there's this big gaping hole missing and it's my Doctor! It's Nine and I'm so sad that he wasn't able to be a part of it. I understand the reasons why, I understand that he doesn't want to be involved with it, but it just made it that much more apparent that he's not in it anymore, and he's my doctor, and I just miss him. I wasn't a fan of David Tennant saying, I don't want to go, before going into his TARDIS. I mean, I thought it was a beautiful moment in the series, and I didn't think that it was something that needed to be made fun of, or brought back, or had a callback. Like, I just thought that was unnecessary. And I know a lot of people flip their tits over it that they loved it, but I just was like, Ugh. I thought that this needed more companions! And also, I wasn't sure about Rose's part in the whole thing. I mean, I know it wasn't Rose, I know it was the moment, and I know that it was supposed to be all bad wolfy. I thought that she was entertaining, and I thought it was a good role for Billy Piper to play to show off her, like, comedic skills, but... I don't know, I was conflicted about the whole thing. I overall really, really enjoyed the 50th anniversary special. I encourage you to go find it and watch it, especially if you're a Doctor Who fan, but I'm pretty sure you've already seen it then, so... Go! Forth and watch it! Fantastic choice. I made the snarky comment when it first came on, be like, ah, they're showing an old one. <laughs> Reruns.